if you do enough soft tissue grafting, you are going to get a failure. The whole procedure has really got just four steps. The surgical bed and the suturing are the two bits where most people will have their failure. Raising a flap, but we're not raising a full thickness flap. When we raise a normal flap, we will uh, lift the entire thickness of the soft tissue and the periosteum off the bone. What we're doing with a free gingival graft is that we're doing a sharp dissection. Often when we talk about a split thickness flap, it can be against the bone or it can be anywhere in between, depending on what you're trying to achieve. It's important that the tissue is stable. So it actually has to be slightly bigger than you plan to be the right size when you put it in position. Don't let your dental assistant suction the graft up. And then they go up around the tooth and they tie. So they form that figure of eight sling. It's slung against the tooth and it's going, notice it's not the flap, it goes underneath the flap into the actual tissue below the incision.